It's the role most never expect to assume. What 58 million Americans do, caregiver. Whether it's for an aging parent, chronically ill spouse, or a child with disabilities or autism, caregiving is a full-time job many undertake on top of their other day-to-day -day duties. The stresses that I face on a daily basis is uh, guilt, um, frustrations, um, I, I'm tired a lot, need help from others and sometimes will not seek help. I've sacrificed my doctor's appointments, my dental appointments, sometime going on vacations, um, being with friends, I, because I want to make sure that my uh, young adults are taken care of. Over time, caregiving takes its toll. Caregivers are more likely to have stress-related illnesses, experience divorce, and are so focused on their loved ones that they don't take proper care of themselves. For caregivers, a second set of hands makes a world of difference in protecting their health. Just a few hours of respite care a week recharges a caregiver so they can take better care of their loved one. It allows caregivers to just step away from um, the caregiving role. It allows them to just be a mom or be a spouse, um, whatever it may be. And people need to fill their tank. I mean, when you're just at a point where you're exhausted, it just, it, it takes its toll on them. Because most respite care workers are volunteers, they need some basic training before they're able to provide care in a safe, effective manner. This is what inspired the nonprofit organization Markland to create the REST program, a training course for volunteers who want to provide respite care. REST stands for Respite Education and Support Tools, and it delivers just that in an experiential, interactive format. Trainees learn how to create a personalized approach to care, to engage with the people they're caring for, and work with their families to ensure the caregivers get the relief they so desperately need. There's a series of experiential learning uh, techniques that we use that allows the volunteer to put themselves into the care recipient's shoes. And so they start to understand how to communicate with somebody that might have some difficulty, or how to understand what maybe a behavior might mean. Are they trying to communicate something to you? Um, so it really helps because they really dive in and get the full experience. Markland uses a train-the-trainer model to ensure that as many volunteers as possible receive REST training. Markland invites leaders in their faith-based organizations, local and national volunteer organizations, and other community groups to participate in REST training. Those leaders then deliver the training to members of their groups who want to make a difference in their communities. The Train the Trainer program ensures the most widespread impact because I am able to hold a training class whenever my volunteers might need it or when I am able to present the training. I don't have to schedule it with another agency. I'm equipped to lead the training so I can offer it whenever we need to. Understanding what caregivers go through and the role of the caregiver was extremely helpful for, for me. Um, it gave me empathy for what they go through. The emotional strain, the physical strain of caring for someone with a disability day after day. Respite care allows caregivers to take time for themselves and that lets them give better care to their loved ones. Respite care has made a difference in my family life by uh, having someone to come in to give me that break that I really deserve and don't realize that I need it. I would encourage uh, someone to give uh, respite care to a family because it is so important that that family get a break so they can go back into that home uh, to be with their loved one who has a disability. Respite is a huge national need right now. There are millions of caregivers out there that need relief. Markland is a nonprofit organization that makes everyday life possible for individuals with profound disabilities. At its two locations in the western suburbs of Chicago, Markland delivers skilled nursing, pre-vocational, physical, recreational, speech, and occupational therapy to adults and children, and private school services for those within the autism spectrum. The mission of Markland is the same as it's been for really almost 60 years. It's it can be summed up in 10 words, to make everyday life possible for individuals with profound disabilities. It's really, it's part of our DNA, the profound respect that we have for the people that we serve, and our desire to help them rise above any limitation.
For nearly 60 years, Markland has received the support and endorsement of Northern Illinois communities in serving those families whose lives were redefined by developmental disabilities. Whether it be a teenager on the autism spectrum, an adult with cerebral palsy, or a caregiver stretched too thin, many can benefit from the loving care and specialized services provided by this organization, which carries the name of its first client. Markland depends on highly trained staff, volunteers, and supporters to continue its important mission. The public can help support us in three ways. They can give, they can volunteer, and they can be an advocate. We're a not-for-profit organization, so we are dependent upon the support of the public for the services that we bring. The state provides for basic necessities, what we would say are sheets and eats. The Markland Standard of Care brings not only a higher level of professional care, but also the activities, the therapist, the outings, all of the things that I think that any family member, any loved one would say is the thing I want my loved one to have that makes life, life. They can volunteer. You know, volunteers are critical to what we do. And they bring a, another person in from the community that tells the people that we serve that they're important, that they're part of the community, that they are important to another person and then be an advocate. Be the voice for people that, where we are their voice. It's been said that the way that we take care of the most vulnerable in our society says a lot about who we are as a people. And, and I know we are a generous people and we've lived on that generous support of advocacy, of volunteerism, and of giving for almost 60 years and we are so appreciative of it. Markland, rising above limitations. To learn how you can help, visit markland.org.